What's the word, everyone? How's it going? My name is Superlex, and welcome back to another Dredge gameplay video. As usual, if you have not yet seen the last two episodes, or three episodes rather, I highly recommend that you go check them out so you know what is going on. Today, if you can remember, well, in the last video, we got some crab pot ability, which we have to press B to deploy, and then we can, we just have to put it somewhere in the water, and it's supposedly supposed to collect crabs, and then we're, we're supposed to come back, like, a few days later, and then see what we've caught, so what we're going to do is, I guess, put the crabs out. I mean, if we look at our pursuits here, it can, it's going to kind of give us a an idea of what we need to do. We need one common crab and one fiddler crab. So I'm assuming it doesn't really matter where we put these guys out, but just so I can remember where I put them, I'm just gonna put it right here because knowing good old me, I'm just instantly gonna forget. So I'm assuming, is this how we do it? Yeah, do we just, oh we, yeah, we just deployed it. Oh, it's right here, okay. So we can come back anytime and then just, I guess, check pot with T. So obviously if we press it now, it has one day remaining before it has anything in it. So how many more do we actually have though? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, crap pot. So yeah, we only have one, but that's okay. I just wanted to put it somewhere so I won't forget where it is because I will for sure. But that's besides the point. We need to find the belt buckle. Once again, if we look at our pursuits, it says right here, we need to find the belt buckle near Little Marrow. We are at Little Marrow right now as we speak and I'm assuming the belt buckle is going to be in the dredged areas. So we have a, dr a dredged area here, so that's what we're going to do. And then once we're done doing this, um, we have to go discover some relics around shipwrecks or around the general area. So this is probably going to be the farthest out that we've ever gone in a video before. So I'm kind of excited for that. I hope you guys are too. I'm not going to lie, I really love this game. I'm already hooked on it. I've only played it like for maybe four hours and I'm already loving this game. Like, the first episode, it was like, eh, yeah, maybe I'll give the game another try and come back, but, like, by the second episode, I was just dead on, like, hooked on the game. It was, it's such a good game. Like, the thing that I like about the game is it's so simple, but it's not, oh, man, okay, I'm getting distracted. Yeah, it's so simple, but it's not so simple to the point where it's boring, you know what I mean? But it's got, like, really simple graphics and stuff, which I've always preferred that, right? Because it's not too much to look at. You can't overcomplicate things. Uh, there's something glowing over here. It's not the dredged waters that we're looking for, but I'll just go take a look at it because it's probably going to be useful. I'm just hoping we're going to be able to actually catch whatever it is because we've got such limited space, right? All seeing cod. Species data added to encyclopedia. Staring outwards. Unblinking eyes borrowed from a larger being, but not the mind to process what it sees. Oh, now that was very interesting, but at least we've got two rare things here. I think we might actually be able to catch one more. Probably not going to be. Yeah, it's not rare, so we're pretty lucky that we actually got that. Can we fit this here? Yes, we most certainly can. Uh, let's do this. Dude. Boom. I also love the fishing mechanics in this game. I mean, like, it's, once again, so basic, but it's not so easy to the point where it's like, ah, this is boring. Let's just dock very carefully here, and we'll go see our good old friend, the fishmonger. Not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain unnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell just looking from the surface. Yeah, are they the two species that I have? Because I wouldn't be surprised. We can sell these for $184, so our money's gradually getting back up. Now, I'm not going to buy any more of these things yet, just because I'm not really, like, too experienced with them at the moment. But it's something to keep in mind, right? I need to keep an eye on um, our crab thing. It says plenty. Does that mean that there's crabs in there that it's caught? Because it has, technically, it's been a day, right? So we're going to want to go look at that for sure. But I need to see if there's any more places to dredge around uh, Little Marrow, because it says we need to find the lost artifacts or whatever they're called, right? Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, it's definitely a lot slower when you back up. I keep forgetting we also have that, like, speed up thing. If we press B here, we can press haste, right? You can go, uh, wait, how do we use it? Like that. And now we can check to see if our crabs have been caught. Yes, look at this, 11 hours remaining. Is that before, it, like, another one comes in? Oh, no, I didn't want to pick it up. What am I doing? No, 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 no. We cannot do that. We need to place it back. I hope it's not, like, unused now. Did I get what was in it? That's what I'm worried. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. Um, he said that he needed a couple of these, didn't he? Or he needed, uh, what, what type is this? This is just the common crab. But for now, yeah, I'm still on the hunt to search for these dredge parts around Little Marrow. I think what I'm going to do is go around back because we really haven't been around back on these islands yet before. Uh, so let's see if we can 
I, I keep forgetting that we, we need to have our haste at hand, right? It makes these things so much quicker. And already the sun is going down. I just need to be careful not to uh, stay out for too long. I think this is some dredging spots here. Uh, oh, is this? No, this isn't what we're looking for, but we'll still get it. Yeah, this one is significantly faster than the rest, but it's nothing we can't handle. There we go. Yeah, it's a bolt of cloth, so I don't know if that's going to be very useful, but I don't think we're going to get any more because we don't need that at the moment. We've got some more places over here. Is that a... Uh, there's something shining over here, right? Is this like a dredge area? Yes, this might actually be where we're looking for, possibly. I'm definitely get. Well, I was going to say, I'm getting a lot better at it as I fail. Okay, just don't fail. Oh, man, every time you fail, you have to start over. The thing that makes it suck so much is the fact that when you fail it wastes more time. Engraved, but almost every detail is entirely worn away. Yes, that's what he was looking for. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go give that to him now, just so I, because we don't have much more room. Although, I guess, uh, I guess we'll get one more, because why not? Uh, this could be something else we could sell to the trader while we're there. I don't know why I keep hitting the buttons a million times, but uh, old iron chain, was that something he was looking for? There's also lights we can upgrade on our vessel too. Uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll get some stuff that's over here because this is probably what we're going to need. Uh, I think we needed one of these for our upgrade anyways. So yeah, this is a lot slower than the other one. It seems to be like the more valuable the parts are, the harder it is to uh, catch them, right? Now let's skedaddle because I'm not really looking to get attacked by some sharky creature again. Uh, we're going to get our foghorn out here because it does help us. I don't know why it helps us. Like I've said, I think it's because maybe it gets the lighthouse to shine on us or something. Our light is apparently going out, which isn't good. So now we have to switch back to the light. Yeah, see, if we didn't have that light on, we probably would have ran right into that. Hello? I can't see anything. It's 2 a.m. I need to go to sleep. I'm here. The fog is really getting to me, though. I need to sleep. And I'm hearing some growling coming from these waters. So I'm not really feeling safe here. But we're almost... Well, I was going to say we're almost home, but we're almost a little marrow. What's that? Oh, that's our crafting. It's very bright, which is kind of funny. It looks like we're looking at, like, northern lights over here. All right, let's rest before we uh, go insane. I think it's the grieving uh, father that we had to give this stuff to, right? Hello, is everything okay? About that belt buckle. Give the belt buckle to the man. Uh, what? Oh, this man. Okay, I was just saying. Uh, you give the belt buckle to the man. Okay. This is, this is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Yes, no problem. Please, take this. I have not any money to pay you, but this might uh, hold some value to you. Actually, yes, it will. I prefer this over money, actually, because I need research parts. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, I better get going. Thank you so much for your assistance. Needs repair. Hmm. Does that mean that it's been, like, wrecked? So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take it, because it needs repair. It's not going to necessarily work. Yeah, that makes matters a lot more complicated, actually. I think what I'm going to do is place it in a different spot, though, once we actually um, uh, get it repaired. Because, I don't know, maybe spots get depleted, right? Uh, we're going to go to the dry dock now. Uh, let's just press continue here, because I know what she's saying already. I think last video I actually put this in the wrong spot, I realized. So what I'm going to do, well, first off, we're going to um, keep it in there, because I don't have enough room right now. Uh, but we need to put some wood in, like, certain areas. So we're going to put this guy here. Uh, anything we can put here? Yes. And then I'm going to see if I can, like, rearrange this stuff now, or at least take this out. Put the wood here. Now what we can do is uh, put this. Does this need wood? Yes, it does. And then we can go back to the place where we put this propeller, because I kind of want to get a better anchor, because we need two of those, whereas here we only need one. So now I think what we can do, purchase upgrade, 95 bucks. Modifies two cargo spaces. It also uh, holds rods. So I guess that's what we'll do. Give you this. Uh, what's this? Modifies four rod spaces to also hold nets. Uh, you know what? I'll, I was, yeah, I'll upgrade it, right? Because I'm trying to upgrade a lot of our stuff here. And before we go back to the ship, right, we're going to go to uh, research. How do we research? We have one research part. Uh, for this guy here, we have Shallow and Volcanic. I think this is probably going to be useful, so I'm going to put my research part forth towards this, and then we just have one more if we get another one we can put towards it later. Is it possible for me to repair our nets here? What's this? Basic Trial Net. 
uh, what's it do? Is it uh, this simple design will passively catch basic fish when deployed? A wise investment for those that want to explore the oceans. Yeah, except it's 250 bucks and you probably need to repair it. I'm trying to fi figure out how do I repair this? Needs repair. Enter repair mode. See. Yeah, okay, there we go. Did I repair it now? Did I have to give it money? I don't know what just happened. I guess I, yeah, I probably paid some money. So it says last, oh, it lasts for three days. Okay, so we need to go put this guy out now. Uh, was there anything else we needed to do? Uh, have you got any crabs for that order? Yes, we do. Don't forget, if your crab pots get a bit worn out, the shipwright could be able to patch them up. Yes, I've already found that out. Oh, wow, this is, a, this is quite a bit bigger of a crab. This guy might jump on me or something. I think what I'm actually going to do, though, is buy one of these because um, uh, we can put double them out, right? We don't have enough money to buy another one, but now we have double. So we're just going to go put these out. And then for the remaining part of our journey right now, don't hit the beach, we're going to go try to explore more relics because these are going to need a couple days anyways. We're going to, how do we place it? Keep forgetting that one should be good. And then we've got one more we could put. Now this one, I think we're just going to put it over here, put it in our basic spot. How about, uh, yeah, let's do here. I know they're like right beside each other, but you know, it, it makes it easier when we come to check on them, right? So, uh, without further ado, now we have to go search for those lost relics. And if I'm not mistaken, the lost relic relics are actually to the back of the island or Greater Mirror, right? And as you guys can see, as you go further out, the waves start getting more aggressive, right? That's something I've noticed. So potentially, maybe the waves could possibly like uh, tip our ship over or something. We need to be very careful of that. This looks like a very interesting place. Got some stuff here. What, what about this? It's like a tiny little boat. Inspect. You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Call out. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? Uh, a monster. A fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Barrow, but I'm being stalked. Yeah, probably by me. <laughs> a huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water. It's gapping mouth just below the boat. Uh, that does not sound good. Is it? Did you say it's just below us? It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. You know, honestly, bro, I don't blame you. I could deliver the package to Little Merrill for you. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Uh, yeah, that's very disturbing. I didn't hear anything, and I'm pretty happy with that. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Merrill. No problem, that's what I'm here for. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy, Sometimes I think I can hear the faint test of whispers coming from it. Then why are you giving this package to me? Am I going to go crazy like you and get stuck in a boat? Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it. So just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Oh, he's giving us the whole cargo, isn't he? Again, an item emerges from the door hole. This time, a book is pushed through and thuds into or onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. What's the book for? It's getting pretty late. I need to make sure I don't back into anything. But there seems to be some interesting things to dredge over here. So we're going to stay in this area. Not even worry about sleeping. Looks like just some more rings, but it's probably useful. Yeah, there we go. Broken monocle. It would be dangerous to put this anywhere near your eyes. Uh, well, didn't I have to see it in order to dredge it up? I don't know, this game is full of creepy surprises, isn't it? Okay, wait, I have a good idea. If that Leviathan ever attacks us, can we just th put it in his face just like Medusa, right? Have you guys ever seen Percy Jackson? It's just like Medusa. Show it to the Leviathan, maybe he'll turn to stone. I just can't see anything now, so it's kind of like, I can't see if there's any place to... Oh, there's something over here. <clears throat> I don't know what this is. I'm hoping it's not like a creature of some sort. Yes, it is. That is... What? No. No. What's happening? What's happening? Okay, Falkhorn, Falkhorn. I don't know what this is. Babe, get me out of here. I thought that that was supposed to be like, uh... Uh, I thought that was something that I needed. No! Okay, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Guys, I need help. I'm getting attacked by this thing. It's chasing me. No! No! 
Okay, I need to get out of here. It looks like we have overstayed our welcome. I- Yes! I need help. Come save me. Is this a bad boat or a good boat? Don't run into me. Hello? What the? I'm getting attacked by like a huge angler fish. I thought you- Oh, no. Okay, okay. We need to- Well. You know, I never said I was smart staying out late at night. But let's just say I've learned from my mistakes. All right, guys. So unfortunately, I don't know what happened to our crab pots last night, but it looks like they were um, disabled or something. They weren't even there anymore. So I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna like redeploy them here because I, I'm able to deploy them again, right? Which means that for some reason, oh, is it because I died? Ah, that's probably what happened. I just need to make sure I don't die so I don't lose them again. So I'll put one in shallow, and then what I'll do is I'll put one again out here. Uh, he said, it just said deliver, deliver it to Little Mero, right? I guess it's the dock worker. How's the day treating you? I've got a package for you. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me, let me see. I mean, if you want to see it, do you have the money? If you have the money, I have the package. He takes the large package and, and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. Good luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you. Or compensation. Well, that was good then. I mean, we could sell some of this stuff to the trader here. Yeah, the trader just, his prices absolutely suck balls. Like, this guy does not give you good prices at all. Like, what was that? Like, two uh, precious artifacts or whatever. Precious pieces of jewelry. Not even 30 bucks, you know. That's just his prices for you. So I don't know if you guys can actually see. But this is where I want to go. In this good old island over here. Now, I'm hoping that there's going to be some sort of buried treasure, because that's going to be very useful for us. Uh, I'm thinking all I'm seeing is, like, shallow water and stuff. Oh, what's that? I saw some sort of fish. A blue. Oh, it's just a blue background. What is that? I'm hearing something under the water here. Hello? I don't really want to waste my time fishing that up, so I'm going to look at whatever this is and spec. You approach a hooded figure, swathed in the dark blue robes. Their face is barely visible. Fishermen, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and waves. Fulfill the hunger. The hooded figure unflurs an old paper scroll. They point to a shape shown at the top. It appears to be a blue mackerel. Yeah, there's a blue mackerel. Like, I, I could have just fished one up. Do they want one? I'm thinking. Okay, because we got uh, some fishing here. Uh, start fishing. Bop. Bop. Oh, that was pretty easy. You know, I'm going to keep fishing in this area, though, because it would be nice to have some more food. Or not food, but we need money, right, to buy more of those crab pots, so I'll just keep fishing. I'll uh, get one more. Oh, we got something very sexy, it looks like. Sir. Fulfill the hunger. Okay, I'm fulfilling the hunger. Do you want... Can I give you the special one? No, I'm not doing that. Oops, I just put it upside down. Is that Okay. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear out the heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. Oh, that sounds very creepy. Why does this person have to have a hood up? More. Still empty. They point to another shape on a second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. Oh, so this isn't the one that they're looking for then, right? Unless, it, is it this? Do they, do they want this precious one? Can I give you this? Okay, apparently that's not what they're looking for. So I guess we'll have to come back to him. I don't think that would be, the, like I said, it's not going to be that simple. Uh, but nonetheless, we need to get out of here now. I don't, I don't like this creepy sound or that I'm hearing, like this creepy music. But I think we can actually sleep over here at our boat area. Uh, no, we need, no, give me my haste. I need to get out of here. Nope. Brrr, okay, let's get out. I think we can sleep over here, right? Uh-oh, it looks like we might be snookered. Because I thought that that was a place we could sleep. Get out. Is this, the, is this like a new town area? I don't think we've even been over here before. Let's hope that it has a bed because I cannot stay out here much longer. No. No. I'm leaving you. It's okay. I have not even been in this area. No, something's coming after us, guys. Something does not sound nice and it's chasing us. Yes. We unexpectedly discovered a new place, it looks like. Please tell me you have a bed. Please. Let me dock. Oh, anywhere's better than being out there. Oh, yeah, we are quite the ways away from where we want to be. But in this case, though, we got so many people here. Infel resident. Ah, what is it? Do you need uh, help with anything? 
I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. What's the issue? Around here, we considered aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. That's understandable. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Yes, I can bring you an aged conger eel. I'll try. I don't know where to fish for it, though. Thank you. You'll be decently compensated. Well, can you tell me about the cliffs? Yeah, let's read that. Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement, and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. There certainly are a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed. Their treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Where can I catch a conger eel? Ah, uh, yes. They can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit, in, uh, inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. That's highlighted, so I'm assuming it's important. Uh, and did I mention that they only come out at night? Of course you did. Where can I sell my fish here? We catch our fish ourselves here, so we don't have much need for uh, buying them. But there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually acred across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything, and she does repairs too. Do you know of any characters around these parts? Have you heard the tale of Magrin? He was an old whaler from these parts. As the whales got more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. Magrin, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. So yeah, that seems like it'd be very challenging for anyone. He formed an unnatural attachment to the scroll he found on one of these trips. He says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magrin the Fishman. Hey, I get called a fishman, but I don't eat like fish and think I'm going to become immortal because I am immortal. One day the town awoke to find all the boats, nets, and lines had been slashed in the night and an old Magrin was nowhere to be found, nor has uh, been seen since. Retired whaler. Are there any shipwrecks around here? The real wreck around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now. The devil. Have you heard of it, uh, about any strange things in the area? Some time ago, just after the last whale was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gale Cliffs. Dozens of ships sailed past, packed up and hurrying away north as fast as they could. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but we couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear of them since. What can you tell me about Ingfell? Ingfell used to be a whaling town, emphasis on the, the used to be. We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then rest of the town would get to work okay but the whales got scarce some 20 years ago and now look at us barely scraping by for a new candle it looks like this town is like very sad that's the impression that i'm getting here um i guess we're gonna stay here though because i i don't know i haven't been in this place before i kind of want to discover oh it's, it's quite the small town i thought we were gonna get like a bit more houses but i guess not it's got different music that's for sure let's see if we can fish up this bottle here Add it to cabin. Okay, I guess we can read that some other time or see what it is. Got a couple boats that are over here. Let's see what these guys are all about. Yep, hello, I am here. Ahoy there, you're a new face. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire. Ha ha. I'm a traveler and a merchant. All rolled onto one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at uh, the next town I come across. Likewise, a haul of small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to per peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready to trade. Okay, will do. Hey again, come by for a chat? Uh, do you need help with anything? Assistance from an angler? Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records from where each species of fish was located. i figured out most of them on my travels so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you could share uh, your info with me. Sure, I can help with that. Great, the fish I have left to track down are... Okay, guys, so for some reason, the message, I accidentally pressed the button, so the message went away before I could read it. But basically, uh, what she was saying, from what I read of it, she was looking for a specific species of fish. But her next message is, I know a little about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. So yeah, there's like three different species I think she was saying. 
Um, yeah, we've got Aurifish, we got Gulper Eels, and Goliath Tigerfish, and Coelacanth. So that's the fish that she was talking to us about. Uh, I would like to know about Aurifish. Tell me about Aurifish. Given that Aurifish have, uh, has a long and fragile body, I suspect they'll live in reasonably deep but calm water. Maybe the shelter of Gale Cliffs would suit them. There's a lot of Gale Fish around here, or Gale Cliff uh, talk around here. Tell me about Gulper Eels. I know that gulper eels live in the deepest depths imaginable. You'll have to get some specialist gear to catch one of those. Goliath tigerfish. These guys are legitimately scary. They hunt in murky, swampy waters using a shade of trees as cover. What about coelacanths? Actually, I have no idea where coelacanths might be, but they have a primordial feel to them. Don't you think? I have no idea because I've never felt one before. What do you know about gale cliffs? Well, there's Ingfell just across the bay, which is a dairy little whaling town. The folks there are always in need of something, which keeps me in business. <sighs> the residents are always talking about the cliffs. Most seem afraid. Frankly, I'm not sure why they stay. Occasionally, I hear deep rumblings uh, from within the rocks. I don't hang around here for long. Are we always out on the water? Yeah, always. I like to keep moving around or along. The merchanting is secondary to the traveling, really. I'm more of a merchanting traveler. I get to see a lot of places, which is nice. I also get to meet a lot of people, which only sometimes are, uh, which is only sometimes nice. Am I considered a nice person? <laughs> Do you ever see any strange things out at sea? Mm. Strange things. Plenty. But I try not to dwell on them. You could go uh, crazy, you know? Ha! But hey, if you're seeing strange things, maybe you're not seeing them uh, the right way. Maybe they're not so strange after all. Oh, I'm pretty sure getting killed by a freaking leviathan is pretty strange. Or perhaps they are. They And they're incredibly dangerous. Better not risk it. It's what I thought. Alrighty, guys. I think that that's probably going to be a wrap on today's episode. We've gotten pretty far. We still have the place over there that we haven't yet been to. I'm just glad that we happened to find, like, this new town on the map. It was by accident, but uh, it happened, so it must be the right thing that we need to do. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more episodes on Dredge, make sure you drop me a like and subscription. So you'll be the first one to see the next video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.